जय गुरु हेलो व्यूअर्स वेलकम टू की जेमी चैनल आई एम दिव्यांदु चटर्जी इन दिस लेक्चर आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट कॉम्बिनेशनल लॉजिक गेट्स एंड बुलियन एक्सप्रेशंस ऑफ बुलियन एलजेब्रा now before going to the combinational logic gates i'll give you some basic outline about combinational logic circuits and sequential logic circuits combinational logic circuit consists of logic gates whose output depend only on the present input output never depend on the previous input so we can say the previous state of the input or the output does not have any effect on the present state of the circuit and so because there are no memory element in the combinational logic circuits that's why there is no effect of the previous state or the present state of the combinational logic circuit and there is no clock available in these circuits so clock pulse is not control the operation of the combinational logic circuit and adder subtractor mux dmux encoder decoder etc are the examples of the combinational logic circuits and logic and logic gates are the basic elements of the combinational logic circuit but in sequential logic circuit there is a memory element which is called flip flop and output of this logic circuits depend on the previous input present input as well as the past output so we can say sequential logic circuit consists of flip flop whose outputs at any instant of time depends not only on the present input but also depend on the past input and past output also so i have already said that flip flops are the basic elements of the sequential logic circuit and it has and it is a memory element and in sequential logic circuits actually clock signal determines when things will be happen next that is what operation will be the first and what operation will be the next that is clock signal control the operations counter register and other memory elements are the example of the sequential logic circuits so let's discuss about the basic gates which is the basic elements of the combinational logic circuit there are three different types of basic gates now the three basic gates are and gate or gate and the not gate so and gate it obey the and logic and it is the symbol of the and gate and its output is equals to a dot b that is product of two inputs so output z equals to a dot b where a and b are the input now this is the or gate and it obey the or logic or logic is basically sum of the inputs that is z is equals to a plus b and the not logic not logic is equals actually inverse logic which inverse the input so the output is inverse of the input and these are three truth tables of the consecutive gates so here you can see that since input is 0 and 0 so product is 0 so you can see either one of the in input is zero then output will be 
zero when only two or more than two inputs are in the state one then and then only output will be the one and in all logic if any one of the input in the one state then the output will be in the one state and you can see in the truth table that for the not operation zero inverted to the one and one inverted to the zero so except these three basic gates there are also four different types of gates nand gate and nor gate those gates are universal logic gates and also xor gate and xnor gate so let's first discuss about universal logic gates so from the word universal gates you must be able to understand that using these two gates you can construct any one of the basic gates not only the basic gates you can also construct xor gate x not gate or using any one of the gate you can construct a entire combinational logic circuits so what is the nand gate logic here you can see nand gate logic is and gate plus a not operation so j equals to first a dot b then its bar is give a bar plus b bar which is actually the nand gate which is actually the nand gate logic now this is the nor gate nor gate is actually or gate plus not so here you can see the output is or operation and its bar equals to a bar dot b bar now this is the truth table of the nand gate and this is the truth table of the nor gate now this is the xor gate so xor gate is equals to the two input output is in the xor gate output is equals to a modulo b which is actually output of the xor gate and this is the symbol of the xnor gate and the output is z equals to a modulo b and its inversion so this is a b bar plus a bar b is the output of the xor gate and where a and b are the inputs and and a, a bar plus b into a plus b bar is the output of the xor gate where a and b are the two inputs and this is the input and this is the truth table of the xor gate and this is the truth table of the xnor gate so this is called the xor logic and this is called the xnor logic so in the boolean expression we have learned about seven logic and logic or logic not logic two universal logic nand logic and the nor logic and two others logic which xor logic and xnor logic now i'll discuss about some basic rules about the boolean algebra these are the basic rules of the boolean algebra here i will discuss about these laws and i will discuss about these theorems in the next class so first start with to discuss about this laws now i am starting the discussing of the basic rules of the boolean algebra so here first these two relation known as the null laws of the boolean algebra now here you can see that in this equation that is the this law states that if any variable ended with zero it gives only zero that is it gives always zero and if 
any variable and odd with zero then it gives the variable itself now i am showing you by logical gates now i am explaining a now i am explaining the laws using and gate here you can see A is the input of a two input AND gate and zero is another input. So this gives the output A dot zero. Now you can see if A equal to zero, then output will be zero. If A equals to one, then then also output will be zero. So the output will be always zero now take this relation so for that i use a or get a two input or get okay now this is the two inputs and this is output a is the one of the input then now if input zero then output will be a plus zero so if when if a equals to zero then output will be zero if a equals to one then output will be one that is when this is zero then the output will be zero when this is one then the output will be one so here you can see in the second relation the output will be the variable now let us discuss about identity laws in this identity law you can see here in this case the variable ended with one gives the variable itself and in this in this law the that is in this relation variable or with one gives always one this these relations also can be explained by a and get a two input and get and a two input or get now now when input is a and one then output will be a dot one now when a equals to 0 then output will be 0 and when a equals to 1 then output will be 1 now see so it gives the variable itself now here in this case if one input is a and another input is 1 then it gives always 1 how now see if a is 0 then the output will be 1 and if a is 1 then output will be also 1 so output will be always in the on state that is on state now discuss about the complementary laws in this case you can see and in this this in this relation that is this states that a variable ended with its complementary is always equals to zero here you can see a variable a ended with its complementary always gives always gives zero that is now you can see if a is zero then in then this one is one so which gives the output zero and if a is one and then this input 
will be 0 so the output will be 0 so this states that output will be always 0 if any variable ended with its complementary function now this relation states that a variable or with its complement always gives 1. Now you can see now if this one in one input and this was the another input so it will give a plus a bar. So if a equals to 0 so this input will be 1 so then this output will be 1 now if a equal when a equals to 1 then then this input will be 0 then also output will be 1 this one is a double negation law double negation means a variable is double not operation that is a variable is double negation gives the variable itself so that is two not operation that is So when a equals to zero, you will you can see this will be one and this will be zero. When and and when a equals to one, then this will be zero and this will be one. So you can see input and output will be the same. Now a dot a equals to a and a plus a equals to a this these are the idempotent laws and and this one states that if a variable and it with itself gives the variable itself and if the variable odd with itself also gives the variable itself idempotent means the same value and which is maintained by these relations. A and it with A gives A A or with A always gives A. That is so here you can see if this is zero, this is zero, this will be zero, if this is one and this is one, this will be one. And here for the same so these are the commutative laws. That is, here you can see A and B equals to B and A. That is, A and B same as B and A. And also A or B equals to B or A. Now I am just showing you, just I am showing you by AND gate and OR gate. First case A and B. So what is the output? A dot B, which is equals to B ended with A. 
that is b dot a so if i can show you by two it's two stable here you can a b in this case a b and this is zero 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 one zero one zero zero and one 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 and in this case b a b dot a a big zero zero gives zero zero one gives zero one zero zero one 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 now go to the second one two inputs are a and b so a or with b which is a plus b equals to b or with a that is b plus a and this is the truth table of a b a plus b you all you all are know the truth table of or get as and i also discussed earlier b a b plus a so this is 0 gives the 1 and 1 and 1 1 also gives the 1 here also 0 0 gives the 0 0 1 1 1 0 1 and 1 1 1 now these are the associative laws here you can see b and c ended with a same as A ended A and B ended with C and in this case B or C or with A same as A or B or with C that is you can see actually this tells that the way the variables are grouped either odd or ended is immaterial so b and c associate with a a and b associated with c here also the same now now let me explain this one B and C ended with A which is gives A and B dot C so equals to A and 
be ended with C, which is A dot B with C. Two table for this one B C A. output will be A all this is one A and B A and B So you can see actually this one same as this one. Now, now I will explain this relation. So to explain this relation, here AND gates, as I explained earlier using AND gates, those will be replaced by OR gate. B or C or with A, okay, which gives A plus B plus C, which is equals to same as A or B, A or B or with C which is equals to A plus B plus plus C. Now explain it with truth table B C A B or C that is B plus C and now
now then this circuit is in this two table now I will explain this one here now the truth table is A B C A plus B a plus B plus C actually this A and B give this one so Now this gives so here you can see this two table same as this one. So A or B or C equals to A or B or with C. Now let's discuss about this relation. This is called these are called the distributive law. Where you can see A ended with B or C is same is equals to A and B odd with A and C. And here you can see A or with B and C equals to A or B ended with A or C. Now first I will discuss this relation by logical gates and then I will discuss the relation using logical gates. So first discuss this. So here you can see B or C ended with A. So B or C ended with A. So here you can see A and B plus C that is B or C equals to it is same as what this same as A and B with or a and B so a so a and B or with a and C which gives a dot B plus a dot 
Sí. Now, now let me discuss this circuit using two stable. So, Here you can see B and C are all together. So this is the A ended with B and C. Now let's discuss. So this gives this one, and now discuss this circuit using. Get to stable here. So A B is so this portion is this is this one and this B C sorry and this A and C is A C so A B is zero A C is also zero. So this explains this circuit. Now let's discuss about this equation that is this relation. So before going to the this relation, explaining this relation, I am telling you that this relation that is this law applies to single variable as well as combination of variables. And also this is true for this one that is the this is also true for combination of variables now i am showing you is this relation using logical gates b and c or do it A, which is equals to A plus B dot C. So 
equals to A or B ended with A, A or C. And this is equals to A plus B dot A plus C. Explain this logical circuit by a two three. Explain this circuit by another truth table here. So A B is this A and B and A and C is a C. that is this and this two table are the same so now now this relation and this relation can be explained algebraically now here you can see equals to a dot a plus a dot c 
प्लस बी डॉट ए प्लस बी सी अंकल्स टू ए डॉट ए क्वेल्स टू यू नो दैट ए डॉट ए क्वेल्स टू ए सो प्लस ए डॉट सी दैट इज ए सी प्लस we can write b dot a equals to ab plus bc which is equals to a into 1 plus c so this one is 1 on this relation which is equals to a plus bc it's actually proved now let's discuss about the laws law of absorption that is you can here you can see b is absorbed here also b is absorbed so you tell this is the law of absorption i am explaining this one by logical gates here you can see and now see first relation st states that a or b ended with a so here a or b ended with a so this is a dot a plus b so the truth table is a b a plus b and then so here you can see that a plus a or b ended with a gives the variable a itself where b is absorbed so here you can see if 0 is 0 gives 0 0 1 1 that is the over person 1 0 1 1 1 so this gives 0 0 1 1 so here you can see this line is same as this line this is the a is equals to this one now i am explaining the second one this relation this relation that is in this relation a and b are with a which gives the a where b is absorbed now a and b are with a that is a plus ab so the truth table is first and get truth table so here also you can see 
this column is same as the this column that is a equals to this and this is called the law of absorption and this is also this can be also proved by a logical uh, by algebraically and do it yourself so now let explain the last one that is the law of common identities identities and i have already said that i will discuss those theorem in the next lecture so law of common identities here you can see a bar means negation negation of a or b ended with a gives a b and in the second one in the second case negation of a and b or with a gives a plus b and this is called law of common identities and here i am explaining this one by logical gates now see a bar or b ended with a so a bar or b means a bar or b ended with a so a dot a bar plus b which is equals to so let explain this circuit by two stable and this this is the two stable of the and get you know now a b a bar plus b a dot a bar plus b So here you can see this is the truth table, this is the output of the AND gate. Now I am explaining this relation. So here A bar ended with B, then OR with A. which gives a plus a bar b equals to equals to a or b a or b now let's now let's explain with a truth table it is also easy one a b a bar b a plus a bar b So this signify the output of a or gate.
so here you can see students i have explained all the laws by logically and that is the uh, logical using logical circuits and truth table also and also some of the relations can be explained algebraically now i'll discuss about con those theorems consist theorem transportation theorem and de morgan's theorem and some other theorem in the next lecture thank you guys god bless you